it's coming from a, a righteous standpoint or a, another perspective that everyone in sport is clean and green and and it's it's again that level playing field I talked about. It's just not real at the top end of any sport. Um, people that want to believe so obviously haven't been in elite sport and people that still believe so and they are in elite sport, maybe they're naive, maybe they haven't been in it long enough to see the the true colors and and it's really sad. It's, it's one of it's one of the things that frustrated me over the years and I was so real and authentic about it even when I spoke out in the Rio Olympics and um, with everyone who I've ever come in contact with just one-on-one or personally over here um, I think that's why I've had so many people re- reach out to me and say that um, they, they really feel for me in my position right now and um, they're sorry I had to go through it um, I'm not looking for sympathy I know, I know what I did was wrong. I'm just trying to tell my story once again and, and, and try to make people understand that there are angles to this. And I, I came at it in the wrong way. And I've read that, that you were targeted, if you like, by Drug Free Sport New Zealand. Can you add any insight into how that process works? No, I never feel personally offended or targeted. I some. Some of the some of the frustrating situations when I missed a test and it was not my fault, such as the case when once I reported to Drug Free Sport New Zealand that I was in New York. These were my flights. This is my hotel. I was um, I was tested actually. I was tested the Friday morning, um, the night after I had arrived in New York City, and at the same time, uh, World Athletics had sent testers to my house in Ethiopia. So. They, you know, miss tests like this. They, they occurred, and it was ridiculous because it was the same day, the same, almost the same time. But the the communication just broke down, and like I said, I never felt personally attacked or targeted. Anyone who performs good gets tested, but I think Drug Free Sport New Zealand take their testing regime to a next level. That again, isn't a level playing field because the rest of the world don't do that. Um, I've been tested over 50 times in my career, out of competition, before competition, even the nights before competition sometimes, taking blood, um, ruining my sleep at 9, 10 p.m. at night sometimes. You have to wake up four in the morning for for race day. Um, So it, it comes with part of the job and... Um, I'm not personal about it in any way. 